I, you know, I used to hang out with Hedberg when I first started out. Oh my gosh! And we used to go do all these shows all over the place, and <sighs> we both had long hair, and we were both deadpan. He was more. I had a bunch of one-liner jokes, and he had all these one-liner jokes, and we we kind of hung out a little bit. So well, he used to come stay at my house all the time, and then oh, you know, it's funny is he married a girl that was at my my very first open mic. Lynn was at my very first open mic, wow. and then I seen her. I, she was she was hanging out, and Bonnie McFarlane was at my very first open mic, and and uh, yeah, and uh, Lynn was hanging out, and she was kind of doing stand up and kind of not doing stand up, and then uh, and then uh, I seen her in Toronto, and she'd been hit by a car, and then I seen her in Toronto again, she'd been hit by another car. <laughs> I'm like, Lynn, you've been hit by two cars, and she's like. Yeah, I'm like, you got to look both ways. You, know? like, <laughs> you, you look one way, one way. No, no, it's all anyway. And then the next time I seen her, she's uh, she like, ah. she was with Mitch. I'm like, what are you, are you, are you open up for Mitch? She goes, I'm married to him. I'm like, what? What? And then the next thing you know, he was dead. I was like, oh, I blame her. And he died on April Fool's Day. And I and didn't everybody, believe every, it. Everybody uh, thought he, it was fake. He was one of my favorites. And so like, good. when I heard, yeah, he died, I was like, ah, it's April Fool's Day. There's no way. That's perfect, Mitch Hedberg. And then, no, nah, drugs. 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 Drugs, drugs, and just so funny. Do you this have so a funny. favorite, uh, like, Mitch Hedberg story or an experience you could share? Nah, I have a lot. I just, my big thing, the, 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 I don't, uh, the last time I seen him, he was really healthy, and that's, that's the way I want to remember him. Mm -hmm. He was like, I was like, he was happy. He was. He was good. And you know, we had a conversation. And we hadn't. We hadn't had a conversation in a long time. He was. It was just a mess. So I was just like, oh fuck, he's doing really well. And then, he, then he was dead a couple months later. And I was like, well, that was confusing. So I, I like to. I like to remember. Remember him. And and I just think of him as. I, I can remember. I can see the green room that we're in in Montreal. We're in Montreal, and we're having. And I can. It's a. I think it's un underground, but it's, you know, it's like in this bricked room and it's like all those old like stone bricks. And uh, you know who else was in the room? But they were kind of bitchy on the other side where the uh, Flight of the Concords were on there. <laughs> the, and and I, I just remember talking with Mitch and stuff. Oh, and he was really healthy. That's what I remember about mm -hmm. it. Yeah. When we think about an onstage persona versus offstage, how, how similar were the two personalities? Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I remember. You know, I just think of him. La you know that that smile and laugh that he did on stage was smile and laugh he did off stage. That's mm -hmm. you know, you know, it was nice to make him laugh. So. And he was more of a pen to paper guy. Yeah, but it was out there, man. It, it <laughs> was. It wasn't. It wasn't sit down and write down. It was, hey, <laughs> you know, like. You know, it, those were his thoughts. Those were real thoughts. That that was that wasn't that wasn't pushing for a joke. That just came out naturally. Mm -hmm. You know, which I love. I love unforced humor. He was not forced at all. You know, what I mean, how early into your career did you guys connect? Um, I was still living in Vancouver. Oh, this is before you moved to New York. Oh, it's from the beginning. Oh my god. I want to say 93. I want to say 93. And you know who else was around and and he only told me a couple years ago cuz I thought I had met him in New York when I first met him was Brody Stevens was hanging around Vancouver. Wow. So, yeah. I don't know what my eyes are starting to tear up just thinking about that uh I don't know why. I don't even know either of them, but you I guess when you're in like the the comedy <laughs> world <laughs> Well, what's in when you're in any world? Feel so connected to the your peers in a sense, even if you weren't didn't know them. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, it's it's a pretty small world. Our our the stand, it's grown a lot, but it's still pretty small. It's when when you hear a name and you don't know who it is in stand up, you're like, well, that's interesting. Hey, hot brother and sistren. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you love comedy as much as we do here at Hot Breath. Click the subscribe button to join the Hot breath of Earth, and then watch more videos to get even more comedy tips. And stop sucking at comedy. Go ahead, click it. Hot breath.